Hi, I'm Dr. Turner Wright. Today we're going to be doing some balloon sinuplasty procedures in the clinic on patients. Most of them will be awake under what we call local. Uh, the procedure takes about five, maybe ten minutes. Minimal discomfort, and these patients are able to return to work the same day. So follow along. We're going to walk you through the steps. All right, we're going to start off here doing a little balloon sinuplasty. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is inject the turbinates with a little bit of numbing solution. This we're going to later on come back and ablate these things. Alrighty now for the balloon part. Uh, here's the balloons and uh, First thing I want to do is make sure that the balloon is properly registered with the computer. So I'm going to check it to a visual point like the patient's nose. And I can look up on the computer screen and see that the uh, green X's are right on the tip of the nose, which lets me know my accuracy is intact. So the first we're going to do is we're going to go into a frontal sinus. This is the balloon entering the left nasal cavity. That's the middle turbinate. And then I'm working the balloon, and if you watch on the computer screen, you can see that the balloon is already up into her frontal sinus, those X's. We can point out the X's on the right, yeah, in the, in the one upper left. So the balloon's in the proper position, and now the, he, he's going to inflate it, balloon. And we come back out, and as you can see, it's uh, relatively bloodless. Using the navigation system allows you to get into the sinus accurately. Now we're going to do the frontal sinus on the right side. Again, this is your middle turbinate. And working the balloon. I'm watching my computer. And as you can see, the balloon on the right hand shot on the computer screen, the balloon is already up into the frontal sinus. And so we'll inflate balloon. You can see the balloon there inflate on the screen. And that's it. So both the frontals are done. Oh, let me have the balloon back. Now we're going to go into what's called the maxillary sinus. Again, here's the middle turbinate. Maxillary sinus is going to be just over in here. We'll try to find the natural ostium. And now, if you can look, Ruben again showing the upper screen. That one and that one, you can see the green X is within the, the air, the black is the sinus. Inflate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there is the hole. I'm going to get around that little drop of blood. There's the hole right there. A new hole into the sinus, which will prevent buildup of pressure and stop infections. Again, I'm going to come over in here. Try to find the natural ostium. And she's got a lot of infection in this one. Yeah, we're probably going to have to come back at the end. She's got a lot of infection in this one right here. Okay, balloon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to go back into our sphenoid sinuses. Again, I'm going to check the balloon with a, a visual reference point, which in this case is the nose, and it's right on. So we're going to go in here and find our sphenoid sinus, which is way in the back of the nose. Again, using the computer to, to help me get in the right position, and I'm already in it. Okay, balloon. Now we're going to go back here and take a look. So you got a little bit of drainage and infection in there. And there's the hole right, right back in there. There's the hole I just created. And again, on this side, we're going to go back. Try to find our natural ostia. Okay, balloon. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we've done all six sinuses. What we're going to do now is we're going to go in and burn those inferior turbinates. I injected them earlier, which really uh, facilitates this process here called ablation. If you look, it's just a needle. And uh, that needle is going to go right down for what's called inferior turbinate. It's going to destroy the turbinate on the inside, make it uh, shrink and become smaller. Turbinates are, are what causes most of nasal obstruction. These structures right here, right now they, I've got them sprayed with Afrin, so they're, they're small. But these things cause obstruction to airflow. So I'm going to put this uh, ablation needle in here. And you might be able to see it. You kind of see that shrinking right there. And that, this turbinates, see you breathe. This right here is your inferior turbinate and this over here is your septum. You breathe in this area right here, which right now looks nice and open. Uh, but that's because I've sprayed Afrin in the patient's nose and uh, the turbinates are shrunk up. But when your turbinates get enlarged, this is when people complain. Sometimes they can't breathe from the left side. Sometimes they can't breathe from the right side or they lay down. All that's turbinate congestion. Turbinates get larger over time because of chronic allergy, chronic sinusitis. And this little ablation right here will take care of it. And this girl, when she wakes up, she should be breathing significantly better and it should stay like that. And that's really the end of the procedure that took about, oh, five, six minutes. I'm just gonna go in here and clean out this one section. And we've already opened all the sinuses. And we've, um, and we've done the turbinates. There's a lot of infection coming out of the right nice little sinus. And that's it, she's fixed.